Hey guys, Tickman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'll show you how to turn this feature on where notification is silent will display to your contact whenever they're trying to contact you. We'll show you how to turn this on and also off as well. This is a neat feature that can become really handy. Now there's different ways to turn it on and we'll show you the ways that are possible. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. The first thing you'll need to do is of course, you need to make sure your iPhone is iOS 15 or later. So this is going to be iPhone 6s above. So if you have an older phone, it won't work. The next thing you'll need to do is go into the actual settings and make sure you're signed into your Apple iCloud account as this works through your Apple iCloud account through your devices. And the thing about this, this option is that it works simultaneously whether you're or on iPad or iPhone or MacBook, if you're signed into the same account, it will sync up that feature so that you do not get uh, disturbed by notification. So to turn it on, it's gonna be really straightforward. You'll need to be signed in. You also need to make sure you have two-factor on, and most likely you do. And then you'll wanna go over to this option in the settings for focus. Once you click on focus, you'll need to make sure this is turned on. Now, if this is turned off, that means your two-factor isn't on. So you want to make sure that is turned on in order to use the feature. So this just basically says that every device that you have with the same Apple account will share this uh, notification of being silent so that you can pretty much be undisturbed. So what happens is there's features of this focus mode that you need to activate in order for that notification silence to be on for your contact. And the most popular one, it's going to be that do not disturb. Once you have do not disturb turned on, it will show them that notification has been silenced. Now that's for everyone. So the way to do that is actually you go in and see this option where it says focus status and you want to click on that. Now you'll need to turn this share focus status on. This allows people that are trying to contact you to see that message. So when they try to message on their phone, they're gonna see that your name has notification silent. That means that that do not option do not disturb has been turned on your phone and you just don't want to be disturbed. So you want to make sure this is turned on. And what will happen is either you turn it on here and it will activate that and then the person trying to contact you will see that or you can also come pull down the tab menu here turn on this focus mode and this will also happen here where you can just turn it on now this thing will sync across your device as we mentioned it's really cool because any apple account that you have will all kind of not get any notification so that you can actually focus on your day and to turn it off all you do is just click on that and it will turn off and they won't see that anymore. Now, there's another option is that with even with that focus notification turned on, you can allow certain people and certain apps to still send you notification. So even if you have do not disturb turned on and they see that notification silent, you can actually add contacts here or apps that you still want to get notification from and then turn on this time sensitive feature, which if there's a time sensitive stuff, you can get that. And the same thing with calls, for example, you can allow calls from certain groups like your favorite and such to come through. So again, to recap, you'll need to turn on a do not disturb or even any of these other options which are customizable focus and allow device to share across device with that status. So if we do, let's say we wanna to go to sleep every time we sleep, we wanna turn it on, we hit next. And then you can allow calls from people or just not from anyone, you can select none. Or allow, doesn't matter. And then you can select the options here as well. And then go ahead and set up later. And then focus is ready, hit done. Same option here appears, just like the other focus mode, right? You have the do not disturb, you have the sleep. So once you turn on sleep, this time you'll need to make sure again, customize that to make sure that you're sharing your focus status with your contacts so they, they, they do see that. The other thing is they can, if it's a really emergency, they can actually press that notify anyway, which will override or pretty much bypass that notification silent for them. So keep that in mind, although they can see that notification is silent and they'll be able to override it. Again, same thing, similarly, you can have it where you set up for certain people to even be able to get notification from even if you have that 
uh, silence, notification is silence. And turn it on and off again. You can do it from here, there, and you'll see the icon up here changes when you have it turned on, turned off. And you can also delete this if you don't want this. So that's how you do it for any of these focus mode. Again, really cool feature. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.